bear tail AIS system into this uh, soft tail here. I'm gonna get rid of the CO2 kit that leaks and is a pogo stick when you ride the bike. All right, we're gonna pull the second shock out, and disconnect the airline. That's it, we'll go ahead and put the new shocks in. The, uh, our air tail system is comprised of two different shocks. Uh, you got the coil side and the air side. Uh, we're gonna start by putting the coil side in first. It's easiest if you raise and lower the rear tire to get the, the rear mounting bolt adjusted or actually aligned properly. And we're gonna need to adjust this guy a little bit. Raise the tire up a little bit. Line up the shock with the mount. Slip in the, the mounting bolt and tighten it up. I also want to use Loctite on the bolts. All right, before we mount the, the air chamber side, we're going to route the lines because we want to connect the air lines to the shock before we mount it. So the manifold and instrument cluster is going to be mounted at the coil. So we'll route it from the coil back over the battery and down to the bottom of the bike. We've got two separate chambers. We've got the bottoming control and the ride height chamber. We need to pressurize the bottoming chamber and that'll, uh, that'll suck the shaft into the shock to allow clearance to install the shock. So what I've done is I've hooked up the manifold that comes with the kit. So I've hooked the manifold up to an air pump and we'll pressurize the bottoming chamber to suck in the, the shaft. Go ahead and pump it till it, uh, it seats all the way. We're gonna pull the air lines up so we don't bind them. All right, we got the, the mount aligned. I'm gonna install the bolt and tighten it up. All right, next step, we're gonna actually install the compressor. It mounts on the, the swing arm pivot. So it requires us to remove the rear wheel and the splash guard cover so we can have access to uh, the area we're gonna mount the compressor. All right, we're mounting the compressor. The uh, bracket actually on these 06 on the late model soft tails. We want to put a little Loctite on these mounting bolts as well. We're gonna run our harness straight up towards the battery area. Up the back. All right, next step, we're gonna mount the manifold and gauge assembly. Uh, it actually utilizes the same bracketry as your uh, coil. So we're going to move the stock coil cover. And we'll remove the bolts and install a bracket behind the coil that our cover will, will mount onto. Go ahead and tighten the bracket down. Use the stock bolts. We're ready to mount the, the cover cover. Got the lines ran. Pull them. We're going to install our wiring, prefabbed battery cables. Obviously uh, negative and positive. Everything's plug and play. All right, we got the system installed. Uh, next step is going to be getting the uh, ride height set, uh, bottom control, and the actual ride height of the bike. Okay, our uh, air tail is actually a twin chamber design. Uh, we have ride height and we have bottoming control. Uh, the toggle switch, you can adjust the actual bottoming control or sag. And then once you get that dialed in, you can control the ride height, uh, the altitude of the bike. The letdown switches, 
do the same thing. It lets air out of the bottoming control circuit or the ride height circuit. And we will fine tune the ride in just a bit. First thing we want to do before we ride the bike is set up our sag measurement. Um, what we're going to do is fill up our bottoming control valve. We want to fill it up to about 150, 150 psi. Right, first thing we want to do is measure our ride height. What we do is we measure from the rear axle to a location on the fender or the fender brace area. And you want to write that number down. Okay, next thing we want to do is actually sit on the bike. The bike should drop about one and a quarter to an inch and a half. If it doesn't sag enough, what we want to do is little, let a little air out of the bottom of the chamber. After we get our sag and bottom control chamber all dialed in, you can actually control the ride height to make the bike comfortable for riding. You can actually lower the bike a little bit so we're flat footed or we're comfortable riding the bike. On this bike, we're actually able to get about four inches of drop. The gauge monitors system pressure it is designed to leak down to zero over time. This does not impact the pressure in the system. To check system pressure, simply toggle the switch. <laughs> 